Howdy world, Ippy Trev here. Beautiful day up here in paradise, can't beat it. Roll that intro. Hi, Ippy Trev here and welcome to my channel. Um, hope you get something out of it. Rightio world, uh, big day tomorrow. Uh, Daz Boot and I, we're heading off to Bundy and uh, hopefully we'll make it. Now, I'm still running that high operating thermostat. I took it for a run today uh, and the gate spun all the way around to 110 and so forth and then decided to uh, come back and sit around the 100 and the 80. So uh, I'm going to take it. I've got, uh, I've got about 10 litres of water on board. I've got another thermostat housing gasket. I've got a gasket goop. I'm going to have my toolbox. I've got everything on board I need that if, uh, if I don't like the way the car's running, I can just pull up on the side of the road, rip out uh, the thermostat, put the low operating thermostat in there and get going and get back on the road. So um, I'm covered. Um, the water leak that was happening here, it was just the brass fitting. I just had to wind that in a bit tighter. I've also found another, an old, uh, an old radiator cap out the back, 13 PSI, that actually uh, holds pressure. So she's building good pressure in there now, which it wasn't doing before, which is really good. Also, while I'm in Bundy tomorrow, uh, I'm gonna try and get a spread ball gasket for that as well. I'm um, also taking the extractors up. They're all painted, ready to go. Not a very good paint job, but you know what? So I've primed them and put proper um, heat paint on them, but it is, it is still rattle, rattle, it is still rattle cam paint. So um, that's as bad as good as it gets. So I'm going taking them up tomorrow. I've got uh, four gas bottles to fill. They're just uh, a little bit cheaper to get done at hot gas up in Bundy than they are locally. So it's, all, it's also worth the trip up to there. And also I'm hopefully going to catch up with one of my subscribers, Al Bundy. Uh, he's got the day off tomorrow. I'm hoping to get out of here fairly early in the morning and get up there. I'm going to go straight to uh, Rum City Exhaust and just pull in. Um, explain to them that they built the exhaust system on this car two years ago and is there any chance they can get me in early, get those extractors fit up. I don't expect they'll say yes, but you know, you never know your luck, get there early enough, you just never know. So that's the plan there. Now, the other thing that's come to my attention, hang on, I'll just close my bonnet. So I believe this is all ready to go. Like I said, I've got about 10 litres of water on board. I've got gasket goo, I've got gaskets, I've got tools, I've got everything. So. Uh, nothing has come to my attention is I was, um, I sort of answer the comments as they come through, but lately YouTube hasn't been notifying me of a lot of comments. And I just went to what they call the dashboard page and I looked, I thought, oh, there's a comment from Brother Ross. I haven't seen that before. And then I went through and there was probably at least 15, 20 comments um, dating back to like weeks and weeks ago um, that I never even saw and never replied to. So it's all those people that left a comment and I didn't reply to that. Um, I'm really sorry. I didn't even know the comment was there. So anyway, I, uh, I sat down today and went through every of the comments that I hadn't replied to. And there, there was quite a lot. There's probably 15, nearly 20 comments that have been left on uh, like people going back and watching a lot of my early videos. Like they all, a couple of guys here just really loved the uh, how I got two cops of a pizza. They reckon that was a pretty funny story. And they're all true stories. Uh, and same as when I did the bike ride down to Melbourne for my dad's funeral. I had uh, these young punks in front of me throwing live stubbies out the window at 120 k's at me and then chased me all the way into town at 170, 180 k's an hour on the bike. Um, that's another story there. So if you go to my YouTube homepage, um, there's probably two, 300 videos there going all the way back to when I first started this channel. Well, my, my page anyway, when I first started, coming on to nearly three years. So I've been doing this for nearly three years now, two and a half years, working pretty solidly to get where I am. Um, thanks to all the new subscribers. I don't normally talk about this too much, but um, so at the moment, 497, I'm three off 500. And it was only, uh, you know, two or three months ago, around April, I was lucky to have 150 subscribers. So uh, that's bloody fantastic. So to everyone that's jumped on board and started watching my channel, thank you very much, I really do appreciate it. And I always like to respond to all the comments, which is what I'm getting to. So uh, I'm, I'm gonna be checking that uh, on my dashboard comment thing a lot more often. So yeah, I did, I scrolled through and there was just comment after comment after comment. Some were a couple of hours old, some were a couple of days old, and there were some there going back nine and 10 weeks. So to those people who left comments, they probably, why well, they left my channel, because I didn't respond to them. So to those people that uh, uh, I left comments and I never replied to, well, hopefully I've replied to them now. Um, also, um, Joe B made a couple of interesting comments about why my car could be running hot. He said he built a, I'm pretty sure he said a Chev or something, 
and they put it together and there was a hairline crack in one of the pistons. Now um, that could be true as well, as in how would you even know that? I mean, um, I keep looking for bubbles in the radiator, which is, you know, exhaust gases going through your head gasket and stuff like that and getting into your radiator and causing your overheating bowl. If there's one of my pistons on that left bank that's got a hairline crack in it, how would I even know? Um, I didn't see anything when I um, pulled the heads off. Mind you, I didn't um, rotate the motor. I just left the motor where I pulled the heads off. I cleaned the top, but I certainly didn't inspect them for any hairline cracks. And if the cracks are down like the side of the piston or in the bores there somewhere, you'd never know. And I never spun the motor over, so he could be onto something there. And also, uh, yes, I know this is a pre-pollution um, valley I've just put on there. The old valley's toast. My mate Stewie Rex, he can weld that up for me. But as someone else said, well, it's been cooked and um, had, I didn't install it properly, which I didn't. Um, it could be buckled and warped. So I think that, that old valley is pretty much toast. Uh, a couple of other people were comment saying, you know, well, I don't really need a four barrel manifold on there, especially seeing I'm only running a 350 Holly, but oh, I like having the option at any time to uh, be able to put, you know, a four barrel on there. Not that I probably will, but, you know, there's an option there. And uh, having, what is it, the, uh, the dual plane manifold, I think that's good. I think it's great. So I'm going to stick with the four barrel manifold. I'm going to get myself a gasket. I'll hit auto barn tomorrow in, in Bundy and, well, presuming we make it um, and hopefully they'll have a uh, square bore gasket there for me so I'd like to replace that and at some stage I mean the motor still might have to come out and that is the bottom line the motor I've got Welsh plugs coming so the motor still might have to come out pop all these Welsh plugs um, pull the uh, flexi plate off the back and just go through the whole motor and just clean out absolutely everything that's well and truly on the cards but right about I need to get the bundy I've got gas bottles I need filling I need uh, other chemicals and stuff. I could do some of it on the bike, but I just want to get up there. And I want to go and um, catch up, hopefully, tomorrow with Gary, who was the guy I bought the heads off, and uh, have a bit of a chat to him. He might be able to give me some insight to what's going on as well. And, yeah, hopefully um, catch up with Al Bundy tomorrow. So that's that's sort of the plan at the moment. So, like I said, to everyone that left comments that I didn't reply to them, I'm really sorry about that. I've only just discovered them about um, three or four hours ago. Like, you know, I can't believe I... Uh, they never showed up on my page. Uh, even Brother Ross's comment, I didn't even see it. It wasn't even on the last video I did. I had to. I, ju I just caught it by chance. And I thought, oh, shit, um, why didn't that show up on the, um, on the video page? And then as I scrolled down, I, like I said, I just saw all these other comments that I um, hadn't replied to. Other people had replied to them or liked them, but I hadn't seen them and replied to them. So to uh, everyone else, um, sorry about that, but I, okay, I'll, uh, I'll be checking that a lot more often from now on. So... But anyway, well, this is a short video of today. So the car seems to be running good. Daz boot seems to be running pretty good. It's still running. It likes to hover between 90 and 100 Celsius back and forth on that left bank. And while well, the right bank just sits there like a dumb shit and doesn't move, it just sits on 80 and doesn't move. So tomorrow and, and while well, Bundy back is basically 60 mile up plus running around through town, 60 mile down. So it's a 120 mile round trip uh, at, at least or in the new money, it's about a 200k round trip plus um, city miles I'm going to do and going through Bundy and through the subs and all that it's going to it'll give the car a good workout and the other thing I want to mention too a lot of people keep saying I need this um, radiator shroud well this motor ran fine for two years never needed a shroud and I ran it through some pretty hot summers and you know the temp got up there but she, she never ran hot and I've also spaced the radiator a long way forward so the fan catches a lot of it and I'm certainly not going to put a clutch fan on it and um, then it was like I said I'm um, I feel like I'm repeating myself here, but like I said, uh, it wasn't until I passed all them cars coming out of Childers where I hit 85 mile an hour, and that's when all this started. Uh, the left bank just started going crazy. And I drove over to Scary Barrow a couple of days after that, and I thought, holy shit, what's this gauge doing? And it was acting weird all the way over. So I got over to cute Jody's place, and I dropped the water and filled her all up and come home. The gauge didn't move. It was like, oh, fixed. And then I think it was all right, and then I said, okay, I'm going to change the thermostat. So that's sort of the first video of this whole saga. If you go back about, I don't know how many videos now, but we are looking like eight weeks ago, and the video is HK Holden thermostat change. So I bought the new thermostat, chucked it in there, and basically it's just been an ongoing saga from that video to where we are at this stage right now. So, but anyway, well, the motor still might have to come out. I don't really know. Um, I'm taking these tractors up tomorrow. I don't expect them to be fitted, but, you know, if you don't know, you don't know. And if I take them with me, half a chance. I've got uh, four gas bottles I need filling up there. And if worst comes to worst, and if worst comes to worst, I will, I will rip that uh, thermostat out on the side of the road and chuck that low opening thermostat in there 
just to keep the motor safe. So I'll, by the time I get to the North South Road turn off, I know exactly what's going on with this car, I believe. So anyway, Worlds, like I said, just a short video to explain about the comments and uh, welcome all the new subscribers to my channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, riding Ruby Paul over in the States. That was a pretty good video of all them cars. The boat would have fitted in well over there. And thanks for uh, handing me name around. I, uh, I should have sent you a few more stickers to hand out for me, mate. So same thing. I've still got a few stickers here. So if anyone wants them, uh, hippietrev at bigpond.com. Send me your address and I'll uh, post you some stickers. So, and of course, a big thank to Mike Mitchell over in the States for sending me those two uh, truck models and those awesome pair of tweezers and the paintbrushes. I'm just about ready to get in and build one of those models. I've just got a few more things to do here, as in with the car and a couple of things, and then I think I'll be ready to sit down and start just putting my energy back into uh, doing a little bit of a model build. So anyway, well, uh, stay safe, keep your needs in the breeze, and I'll catch you later. Bye.